What's up everybody? This is Rick from Tag Hill. Today my friends we're going to be looking at a product from Arch here. This is the 16x52 monocular dual focus optic zoom telescope day and low night vision for bird watching, wildlife and hunting. So here's the monocular. It comes in this case and I'd like to thank Arch here for sending me this. Um, waterproof, frog proof. We will test that. It does not say anywhere on the packaging or in the uh, instructions for it what level of waterproof it is so we can only assume that it is water resistant IPX4 okay and fog proof we will check that now you see here binocular it is not a binocular it is a monocular okay and then over here you can see perfect for boating sports bird watching auto racing horse racing hunting beach and travel travel is spelled wrong warning KL 1040 do not look at the sun directly, otherwise it will hurt your eyes. Now, I point that out only to state that they do need to focus more on their writing for their packaging. Um, that might not be a big deal to some, but to some people that's important. They want to be able to read it without a problem. Here is the model number. Okay, big made in China on it, so you can tell that's why there's some errors with uh, spelling and stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop her open. First things first, comes with a sheath. This is not a super light item, so you don't want to uh, have this if you're doing some heavy duty backpacking or you're ultra light minimalist. It does have a little bit of weight to it, okay? The sheath that they give you for it, in my opinion, is not really up to par. It could be a lot better. Um, you can see on the back, it is just one little tiny piece of webbing it's not really that good webbing either and it is just stitched in the sheath is not really that good but it's not about the sheath it's about the monocular so we'll take a look at that in just a second they also give you a little lint free lens cleaner so you can clean off the lenses they also give you this here which you can see is in chinese if you open it up it does have instructions okay which even even in the instructions there's some uh, some errors with um, with spelling which like I said that's not really super important but to some people it is it does come wrapped in a plastic bag which is awesome because that's safe okay it does have a lanyard on it let's go ahead and pull it out now you can see here much better quality than the sheath would lead you to believe now it does like i said have a lanyard on it the lanyard is pretty low low grade it's not really heavy duty it has two zoom points you have one here where you can adjust your focus and you have one here it does have an eye relief okay and they are claiming that it is 16 by 52 at 66 meters to 8,000 meters um, having some issues trying to get it to line up to my phone to give you guys a clear picture through it all right so I've got it focused to this this first plants right here and we'll see if we can't get that to show through at all because on Amazon's website, people were asking if you could use it for cameras, if it was decent for cameras. And as you can see, I'm having a lot of trouble getting it to line up and display. There we go. Not perfect, but it does show what I'm trying to show so and that is no fault of the monocular that is just the, the fault of me not being able to get it lined up properly to the lens see if I can adjust it a little bit from there maybe to get a better focus I think that's about right. 
So we can see as we zoom around. We can see the clarity. As far as the optics go, I'm gonna have to say they're fairly decent. I mean, I'm getting fairly clear picture way 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 out there and it seems to be fairly good so I would definitely say as far as the product itself is excellent can it withstand the waterproof part can it withstand the fog proof part we're going to find that out the ones the binoculars that you can buy from Ozark Trail is about the same quality as this um, Seems like a fairly good product. It does have a rubberized texture all over it. Um, from what I'm seeing out of it, I'm getting clear pictures uh, with very, very minimal uh, focus issues. And I could see, you know, way down, fairly good. With the focal point that I'm using right now, I'm, getting, I'm able to see pretty far out really clearly really good now you see that power cable way 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 over there that's how close we're getting with the camera to those power cables Okay, so from that to that, so definitely think as far as the monocular itself, uh, excellent quality. Let's go ahead and see how waterproof and how fog proof it is. Like I said, they don't leave any description as to uh, the waterproof ability, so I'm going to only assume that it is IPX4 level waterproof which is not waterproof at all it's water resistant which means it will work in the rain but beyond that you're gonna get water inside of it all right guys so we're going to do the arch here water test and see how it performs so give me just a second oh my goodness it's raining So I'd say that's, you know, that's a significant rain that we're getting. You know, it should be able to withstand that. I'm, I, like I said, I'm, I'm guessing that, I'm assuming that it is IPX level four. Okay, now they're saying waterproof, but I don't know. That's pretty drenched. So let's go ahead, swing that off real quick. Take a look through her. I'm not seeing any water. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. I'm not seeing any water inside of the monocular at all. Let's go ahead and try one more. This time we're going to adjust these as we go. All right, so it's raining again. Now we're gonna adjust these. Okay. Now I am adjusting them both, or trying to anyway. All right, we're gonna tip it up again. Let's let that fill up, that whole top. We're gonna let that fill up like it's raining. Let the bottom fill up like it's raining. All right. Shake her off. Take a look through it real quick. And still, I am not seeing any water on the inside. Seems like it's doing pretty good. Guys, yeah, so for the fog test, what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick that right into the freezer and we're just going to let it sit for a little while i'll get back with you here real soon all right guys so i let it sit in there for a good 10 minutes you can see the uh the lanyard is frozen okay and i'm not noticing any fog no fog i'm going to come out here to the sunlight
Uh, you can see the rocks fairly well through there. No fog. There you go. There's a clear picture of it. Focusing on everything. That is reversed just so that you can see. Um, no fog at all. I got to score this one pretty high, guys. Arch here, you're doing a great job. Uh, it is, from what I've seen, definitely IPX4 uh, and definitely fog proof. And it works pretty good. So, thumbs up to Arch here. I'd like to thank you for uh, giving me this to review. And uh, I hope you guys are having a great day. Remember, my friends, in order to thrive, you need to strive to survive. And I'll see you later. As well, I will leave the Amazon link to Arch here in the description box. Go over and check them out, guys. Get yourself a monocular. Pretty good quality. Definitely a good product. All right, see you guys later.